in this channel we have a tradition where i suit up for the season finale but still no pants and you know why because this is a hobby not a job let's begin man last episode was so depressing the ambiance though you know it was all black and white and like the shit that his dad said like like it doesn't matter if we get a perfect record it's the fact that icky is icky that he'll never accept it he did kind of acknowledge him right but like you don't need your dad's recognition bro all you need is Stella's. Here we go. Here we go. You know this guy's gonna get off screen. Maybe we'll actually get to see the fight, but every fight Stella's been in so far has just been off screen. And the battle's already over. Hmm. Wait, Toka's only rank B? That's crazy. Everybody's watching. Is Nene actually here though? Is Nene here though? And it's a doll, of course. Yeah, we're all used to it. Nene's right above, though? Is it gonna be public humiliation, though? You think this is a good idea? Because if he loses, it'll probably be public humiliation. But what if he wins, though? What if he fucking wins? The God of War! Because she wears the same shoes as the... Have we ever seen him before? I don't think so. Damn, she's so mean to him. But she copies the style of the shoes! See, look at this. Look at that, she's blushing. Such a sin today, man. Oh, there's like a rivalry between these. Who's this? This motherfucker again, dude. Yeah, he's a piece of shit, bro. He's the ultimate, like, uh, fat, ugly bastard caricature. God, I hate him so much, man. Don't tell me right off the bat, you're gonna somehow delay his, you know. Yeah, if he doesn't get in 15 minutes, he's done. What did you do to Iki? I bet they put out some kind of trap where he can't get here on time. He probably left early, and now Iki has to fucking run. Famished like this. What a piece of shit. This is the worst possible condition that Iki is in. Everything is still black and white for Iki. It's, it's, it's to kind of show what kind of you know, state he's in. Grandpa. But he didn't give up, though. But our abilities are crazy. You got, like, perfect blade vision, and you got, like, you can download people. What do you mean? You got blade steel and shit? You got intensive, man? You got irregular guard? No. That was it. No, Ito Shura is too OP. No, no. Uh-uh. He doesn't give up. Stella's flames? Stella's flames, maybe. Is it the hair that she gave? The redness of Stella's hair! Oh? Damn. At the end of the day, if everybody isn't there for him, you know, he still has Stella. Look at the flames light the color into this black and white. Now we're back into regular. <laughs> Where's Stella? Wait, wait! <laughs> now I feel bad. Like, that, that's almost like, that's not Stella's flame. That was like, Shizuku's warmth or something. <laughs> oh shit! I interpreted it wrong? I don't know. I just like the stealth they show up because the, the red, the fire. Come on, we gotta get going. We gotta get going. Oh, we got a fan base. Oh, shit. Yo, we have some supporters, don't we, huh? I don't know many of these other guys, right? We don't really know them, but there's some characters here we know, right? I don't know half of these guy characters, right? I have no idea who you are, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stella. Of course she did. We didn't even see her win the fight this time. That guy was just like, you're so unnecessary. We're gonna show the beginning of the fight and now Stella has the medal. Oh, look at his eyes, bro. It's back. That's right, that's right. We got Stella Vermillion. Uh-huh. Damn, look at the red lighting in his, you know, eyes. I want to keep thinking that these, the flames, you know, or the red, it's all, you know, for Stella. We look so rough, dude. Oh my god. His pants are all ripped up. His shirt's all fucked. His face is all fucked up. Fuck you, Akaza. But like, no matter how much fighting spirit we got back, Iki's still... He's physically just so starved and tired. How is he gonna get over this? Dad, fuck you, dad. Kinda upset that we never got to see Alice fight. How did... He just casually made it into tournament two. We've never seen him fight, uh, other than the first couple episodes. But like, you know, an actual arena fight in the tournament. Like, I guess Alice really is just built different. Mm. She was smiling. 
There's a there's an episode when she was first shown in like a hood and she was like watching Iki's fight, I think. Damn. One more in Tetsu. You know what they say when like a warrior is pushed to their to their exhaustion, second wind hits or something, and they become like in this flow state. They become like awakened. They're like in the zone. Despite how tired you are. Maybe that's what's gonna happen to Iki? Let's go ahead. Right off the bat. I'm not fucking around. I'm, so, I'm telling you, we should have just done this on every fight. Like, why wait? Just brute force right in? Yep. But what if you can't? Oh. What if you can't dodge him once though? What if, what if it's a second time too? One swing? We're gonna end this in one clash? What? Okay? You're just gonna end it in one slash though? How? Whoa, this color palette, man. You mean she's going black and white too? Iki has to win this, right? Iki has to win this, right? Raiko? Okay, here we go! Raikou versus Raik Kitty, which one wins? Look how strained his eyes are. It's bleeding! Holy. This is insane! The way that the blood vessels and everything, the blood's coming out? We're not even gonna see the clash. It's just gonna be a flash of light and she's already gonna be down, right? I wanted to see the exchange of blades though. Who won? Iki has to win, right? No way Iki loses here. Right, Kitty Sword. That's not in Tetsu, right? We did it, boys. I mean, I think it was pretty obvious that Iki had to win given the different outcomes, right? It's win or quit. Yeah, fuck you, you fat fuck. You piece of shit. Dude, blood, the blood was real. I thought it might have been just like aesthetic effects, but no. He just put everything into one slash. I feel a little... I don't know. I wanted to see more of a fight, but... Sure. That works. Another one. We just changed the nickname from worst one to another one. Like we want Sword Eater. Bro's acting so cool. He didn't even see the fight, but he's like, all right, my boy won. True talent. No, she went all out, bro. Can someone just kill this guy? Like, please, can someone just kill him? Yeah, what was that at the... He was bleeding everywhere. Huh? Ito Shira can't beat Raikiri. But with one single attack, he was able to overcome a demon above men. Ito Ras... New name! Ito Rasetsu. No, you're stupid, bro. What are you gonna do about it? What are you, what are you gonna do about it, bro? We already won. <laughs> What's he gonna do about it? He gonna say that was rigged, you know? Yeah, of course it was rigged. It was rigged fucking for Iki to lose, bro. You know, as cool as Ito Ratsetsu is, it's like if you bleed like this all the time, it's probably not safe to use it over and over again. Maybe it's declaration of love. <laughs> you gonna fight? Ain't no way he's just gonna show up to fight. We have a reason to kill him now. We have a reason to kill him now. Nice! But I don't think he actually got killed there. I think we just slapped him with the sword. That's fucking hilarious. Bro actually showed up to fight. <gasps> oh, love declaration. We both made it into tournament like we promised. Stella will catch him. Oh, everybody's witnessing this. I dare these motherfuckers to talk shit about them having indecent activities. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? They're a couple. Yes, we know that. We know that. <laughs> I mean, this literal warmth. Because, you know, she's flames, but there's obviously more than just that, right? Just like, the way that Stella's always been there for Ricky. I love you! Skidas! Mm. In a good way. And then that's a good, that's a good thing. It's just like when I think about family, I'm thinking about incestual stuff. That's where my brain is going to. But no, this is a romantic. This is a romantic. 
<laughs> Shizuku looks a little bit pissed off though. Oh. Doesn't that mean Iki is marrying into royalty? Wow. Marriage proposal after winning in a TV broadcast? What a giga chat. I'm sorry, Shizuku. I'm sorry, Shizuku. That was on fucking national TV, but you gotta be happy for it, right? Dad, you better be fucking watching this shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Who's this? Emperor? Still is dead. Don't get children involved. Damn. Still is dad's basically telling him, bro. Take better fucking responsibility of your child, bro. Yeah. Shit on him more. <laughs> doesn't, even, doesn't even reply. His displeasure? Wait, I'm, I'm a little confused. Is Stella's dad happy about this? Oh, we never got to see her fight, man. She has such a cool design. No clue who she is. No clue who she is. Fucking insane Alice just made it without ever seeing him fight. I mean, in an actual tournament fight. Shirogane, Iki. Sorry, Kurogane, Iki. I keep saying Shirogane because, you know, Kaguya-sama. You're the main character, bro. You fucking beat Toka in one, one hit. Our entire school is on our side. It's crazy how the school bandwagons are sometimes hates on Iki so much. But right now they're bandwagoning hard. Inherit their will. Remember us when you're in trouble. For the sake of my friends, I will never lose. It's just crazy that Alice is... My man Alice just built Diff, huh? But now it's kind of nice because, you know, they're, they're cheering for us, right? Yeah. That's a great feeling. Yeah. What, what about that? Shizuku and Alice. Hey, you're cock blocking! At least Shizuku's being very accepting, right? You know, she's still in her antics, but still. Kissing and all the contact. I mean, she fucking showed up and just kissed Iki in episode 2, but whatever, we'll forget about that. 30 times every day? That's a lie. There you have it. Honestly, for a one season anime, I think it ended off in a really solid spot, right? We're done with the preliminaries. We've picked out who's going to be the representative of the Seven Sword Star tournament or something. But that's the thing. This upcoming tournament is supposed to be the real shit. So far, everything has been kind of tutorial. Everything has been anticipation of this next tournament. But this anime aired like eight years ago. We're never going to get a season two, are we? Fuck. Now I just want to know what happens, but... Man, the rematch with the Sword Eater and all that, it sucks, but you guys should have hope. Maybe they're going to be uh, season two in the future. I mean, a lot of animes that aired a long time ago are suddenly starting to have new seasons, though. And a show like Chivalry of Failed Night that I would hope did decently well might have a reboot. Fingers crossed. We don't know. I'm glad that you guys picked this anime, though, because so far my channel has just been so much depressing emo rom-com. It's like, bro, enough of that shit. Give me some hype. Finally, y'all just recommended me a fucking tournament arc anime. Perfect, right up my alley. And I think the Irregular Magic High School might be something that you might be interested in too. Uh, we're going to be replacing Chivalry of a Failed Night, as you guys already know, with High School DxD. However, Data Live is going to end pretty soon too, within the next two weeks. So we're going to have a new anime to pick for. I hope you guys continue to recommend me fun anime and we'll continue having fun times. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time. Take care.